have the honor to introduce Mark to you in just a little bit. And we'll be focusing on discussing how do you find the right financial fit for the college and how you should think about return on investment. It's a big investment for college. And more importantly, um, how you should negotiate with the college for the list of price. Uh, many of us didn't even know that one out of 10 freshmen actually pays for the full list of price. And in average, students actually pay 53% of the tuition fee asked by the college. So Dr. Mark Salisbury will be sharing with us um, why that is and how you should be looking at the award letter and negotiate the, the best price for the student and the family. And I will also spend 10 minutes to share with you the very exciting summer internship Kairos uh, is organizing for our high schoolers this summer. Uh, we have 10 minutes at the end for questions and the answers. So let's go. Today. I want to first just talk very briefly about how we're going to talk about this topic because it it can be a little complicated. And so we wanna talk about some terminology first. And some of these terms you might've heard and some of the terms you may not have heard. And some of the terms you might think you know, but you might not know everything that they mean or don't mean. The second thing that we're going to talk about is what is financial fit? And what is return on investment? And why are they so important? because they, they might sound like they might be obvious, but yet they're not necessarily so obvious. Third, we're gonna talk about how to find colleges and universities that will give you both and how to really pay attention to the ways that a college and university might both be a financial fit and give you a great return on investment. And then finally, how to appeal and how to negotiate to get the best price when you're getting to the end of your college search process and you have some financial offers sitting in front of you and you're trying to decide which one really is the best for me. How can you best appeal and negotiate? What are the strategies to use? First, it is very important that your mindset is in the right place. And that mindset needs to start with, you know that you are the one who determines your success. I've spent many years as a researcher on college student success. And I can tell you that 40 years of research says the same thing over and over, that the student, what they do in college determines their success after college. And the name of the school that they attended has very little to do with their long-term success. And it's very important for you as a student to know that you are the one ultimately that will dictate your success. The reason why that's important is because if you know you determine your success, then you know that you can make yourself successful wherever you choose to go. Now, the second thing that you have to know as a family, as a student, you have to know if you have a line in the sand. In other words, do you have a price that that school has to get to or any school has to get to before you can afford to go? It's very important to understand that and to be honest. Sometimes we think we have a line in the sand we just want to have, but we don't really have. And it is very important to be honest and to have that conversation as a family. Then you will never have any success negotiating or appealing to a college or university unless you ask them. So the very next thing to do with every institution that you speak to is to contact them and ask them about the possibility of additional financial aid. 
you will not make them angry. You will not make them mad. They will not be disappointed in you. They will not be angry with you. They are getting that phone call or that email hundreds of times a day. Why? Because college is expensive and people don't want to spend more than they have to to go to college. So it is entirely okay to call or email and ask. And it is entirely okay for the parents to do this. It is entirely okay for the student to do this, whoever is most comfortable. When you do that, it is very important to be professional, to be genuine, and to be optimistic about that institution. That institution wants to know that you believe you can succeed there. So you are going to communicate to them that you believe that that institution would be a wonderful place for you, that you can see the ways that you can be successful, but that it is a challenge to pay for college and you are trying to put all of the costs into context to make the best choice. So be professional, be genuine, and optimistic about that college. Then you want to emphasize to that school that you need to find the right price value match. And that means you are just trying to say to them, no matter where we go to college, it is a sacrifice that we're trying to make. And we want that for our son or daughter. We want that for ourselves but we're trying to find the best price value match. And we're trying to weigh the price that you're asking us to pay against the value that we think you offer. And that is our challenge right now. And you are in need to find that. You don't tell them that they haven't achieved that, but you tell them you're struggling to find that with their offer. And then lastly, it's valuable to emphasize to them that your education is more than just undergrad, that you have plans to do graduate school, to have additional education, even if it's not a standard master's degree or PhD or doctorate, you still have plans to grow your education, to grow your knowledge, to be continue to be more educated after undergrad and you only have so much money to pay for all of that. And so you're balancing out all of these things. Now, these are the ways that you approach institutions and you can speak with them. It is very important though to remember that just because you ask, just because you are all of these things with them, it does not mean that they will change their price. What we are seeing now is that more and more and more colleges are more than willing to do that, but that does not mean all colleges. And it is critical to understand that it is an appeal and negotiation strategy. And if you have established what your line in the sand is in your own mind with your family and you understand all of those things, you are then going to be best able to make the best choice after you have worked with each institution to find the best price. Thanks very much, Dr. Salisbury. I uh, really appreciate. And uh, for some of the folks that join us a little bit later, uh, just to remind you, many of us actually don't know that you can negotiate the college tuition fee. And the fact okay. that one out of 10 freshmen pays for the full tuition fee, that means there is a lot of room for negotiation. And in average, the students are paying 53% of the tuition fee that colleges ask for. And coupled with the fact that the college tuition fee has gone up eight times more than the salary increase, there is this ongoing phenomena that colleges are equating the quality of the college, of the education with the price tag. And I think many of the families need to have that knowledge, need to have those tools to help you get through the process and get the best price for your college education. So with that, what I would like to remind everybody 
um, is that Kairos is a one-stop shop for college prep and college application. And specifically for the 11th and the 12th graders, we do have wonderful spring programs that help you walk through the process, equip you with the essential skills and knowledge for this to be a smooth journey and reduce the anxiety, reduce the financial burden of the family. So I do wanted to call to folks' attention in February, um, even after you got accepted to college, your job is not quite done yet. Uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, scholarship research and the tuition negotiation you can go through, and that will you know, really reduce a lot of financial burdens for the family. Each of the SPRIN program contains a five-week workshops. And so uh, for the 11th and 12th grader, we do offer 20 classes throughout the year. And for the younger high schoolers, we do have eight high school prep spring programs. And from Q1, Q2, Q3, you will notice um, these five-week workshops are building blocks for you to really get to the right summer program in internship applications or help you to take tests, PSAT, SAT, ACT. And also we are going to um, launch a really good college and major selection spring um, program in the coming months. Currently we are on AP prep and plan.